All right, so I'm going to go through a quick setup for spawning objects using Udon for VRChat. So if we come back into Unity, I'll show you what I've got set up. All right, so we have a button here that sends a custom event that I've named spawn to an object that I've named spawner. Now, spawner, we can just... Uh, actually, I'll show you the normal Udon script first. Uh, this takes a public game object, which will be the object that we will be spawning, and that shows up in the inspector. And whenever the event spawn happens, which is what our button calls, it will use VRChat instantiate and give it the variable spawn item, which is the object we gave it. Um, then, now, hold off, this is theoretically what you would do. Uh, you would take the information from this spawned object, which comes out of here, and get the new object's transform, and we will be setting that to the position of the present object. Because when VRChat instantiate spawns an object, it spawns it at the origin of its prefab. So if I just search cuboid, which, if I can spell cuboid, uh, which is the object that we were spawning, it's prefab position that I've made is zero 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 so it will be spawning it at zero in the origin of the world and we don't particularly want that so we need a position for it to spawn at and we will be getting the position of the object that this script is on and we will be setting this new object's transform to be identical to the position of this now the reason I said this is technically what you would do is at the moment VRChat instantiate as a node in Udon has a glitch where if you utilize the outcoming information from it for getting information for the spawned object, it actually duplicates the object that you're trying to spawn and will instead spawn it at both the position that you want it to be at and at the origin of the prefab because this is only getting information from one of them. I don't know why this is happening, but it's a glitch at the moment. So as of now, we can only really do responding reliably through Udon Sharp. Now, if I go to the Udon Sharp script that I've made, I'll just give it a uh, cuboid and let it search through assets instead of scene, because you can select an object from the scene instead of a prefab if you want. Uh, and we just double click to open this. Uh, I have a short script here where on spawn, which is the public event that our button is also calling, it'll take the public game object spawn item. And in here, we will do a new variable called new object equals VR chat, VRC instantiate spawn item. Now what this does is you take the object that you want to spawn and you use VRC instantiate with it, but you set this new object that this creates to a new variable called new object. Now, you then take new object dot transform dot position. So you're taking the position of the cube you just spawned and setting it equal to transform dot position, which is the position that this object that the script is on is at. Uh, then since you don't need the new object variable anymore, it is lost at the end of this event. So that cleans up that. And since we have cuboid in our position, I'll just force compile all Udon Sharp scripts just to keep everything clean. Go back in our scene to point everything out again. So we have our spawner, which is inside of the tube. And we have button click, which is right here. And it has spawner as the object target and a target event I've named spawn. And just to give a quick glance at that, it's just an Udon behavior target with a string enable target event. Uh, yes. Uh, then on interact, so when you click on it, Udon behavior send custom event uh, to the game object target, and then we give it target event, which is enable by default. You can change it in the uh, in the inspector when you have it set to a public variable. So if we just go back into VRChat and since I didn't change anything from the last instance I created, I'll just do last build. 
when we're back in the world, we can interact on this button and it will spawn as many objects as we click it. And it will put them into the position up here. If I can just clean this up a bit so you can see inside. Yeah, and they spawn it right in the exact same position. <laughs> Which uh, normally isn't a problem unless you're spamming the button. So yeah, that's how you make a basic spawn object script for VRChat. Uh, hope you enjoyed.